Hello everybody. How are we all? Ignore the hair. I'm going for the fashion day for a blow drying look. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just got out of the shower and I didn't want to brush my hair yet. So <laughs> yeah, that's why it's booby. <laughs> um, it, it totally needs some moisture. It, I got a condition. Well, what I felt like a condition. Look at that. Oh, I'm leaving it alone because otherwise I'll be here for days going. Nah, 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 nah. Anyway, yeah, I conditioned the heck out of it, but no, <laughs> it still looks like. Boom. <laughs> Anywho, this is, as you saw by the title, my empties video. And I actually have quite a bit. Um, but I haven't done one since like December, and this is been. This is. February 29th, and it's actually is going up on Monday the 2nd. So, for you, it's Monday the 2nd. So, huh, yeah, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna start doing these about every six weeks. <clears throat> I'm also gonna do favorites. After I do a uh, winter favorite, I'm gonna start doing favorites every other month. So it'll be, next favorites will be a um, brain works sometimes. <laughs> April, May favorite, and then a June, July favorite, and then, you know, and so on and so forth. Because I don't buy a whole bunch ever really, so there's not a whole lot that I can say. And I do listen to music, but I don't watch enough TV and read enough different books and to really do a really big favorite list. But I guess it just means sometimes my favorites will be short, sometimes my favorite will be a little longer. You never know. Moving on. Here we go. All right. Okay. This is this is my son's. I do not use this. <laughs> I would. I would. But this is my son's. We use this up. This is. I buy this like all the time, and there are variants of it. There's like two or three different ones. I mean, it worked. I'm not going to give a review on it because even a mini review of it. I mean, he uses it. It works. In a story. It's all that it, there is. And I have given a review on this one. This was in a favorites video. I absolutely love this. I will be repurchasing it. Um, now is that time of year because I do, I shop my body washes in yearly because I use my taxes. So now is the time. I'm going to be repurchasing this real soon. But yeah, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit left in there but it's nearly impossible to get out so put that aside on my clean bed yeah. okay, yeah. clean huh anyway <laughs> this love this of course you can't tell what it is anymore the thing is off but this is um ponds and i believe it is their um their makeup version their makeup remover version but it's a cleansing wash. I did not use everything, but it's almost completely gone. It's pretty much gone enough. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed the crap out of this. It it actually leaves your face feeling really silky smooth. So, I know the scent. Uh, I can get past the scent. The scent's not overpowering to me. So, and I am sensitive to scents. I am. Um, the certain scents give me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> certain scents give me headaches. So, yeah, I am kind of a sensitive to scents, but I like the scent of it. I don't love the scent of it, but I don't hate it either. So, yeah, it, I'm okay with it. <clears throat> this one though, I love the scent of it, and um, this one I bought like three years ago and finally used it all up. I don't use this every day, but I was stopped using it for the body. So I'm not really fond of it for the body. I started using it for my um, face. And it's um, by um, Bath & Body Works. <clears throat> it's a foaming sugar scrub in the scent Magic in the Air. Oh my gosh. Ooh, got a little bit left because water. Oh, it smells amazing though. <clears throat> Sorry. Stuff in the throat. Really, really love that got a little sample thing a tiny bit left it just it wouldn't be enough to do anything with and I'd take forever to get it out so I'm not gonna worry about it but this is 
the the travel size of dial um, in the scent spring water um, the body wash uh, I wasn't too thrilled with this I don't know maybe it was just because it was the travel size I'll have to try the full size sometimes but I wasn't too thrilled with it I don't know why all right I do have five six six makeup items I'm just going to start with what I have in my hand now this is more declutter so and I have two declutters technically three three declutters yeah because in one two three empties so <clears throat> if you saw my shop my stash from February this was in it and I am decluttering it because it's not that I don't like this I think it's dried out I couldn't get much out of it <clears throat> I could probably get two or three more uses but it just it was too difficult to work with and it's it's chunky and it's I'm just not I would rather just buy a whole new one and just toss this like I said I'd probably only two or three more uses left in it anyway so that's going in the trash um, just grab one this is an empty this is my other smashbox um, brow tech to go pencil it has your and it, it's supposed to well when it has something to it clicks up and it's angled and I like this I really do like this a lot it's pricey yes but comparable to Anastasia Brow Tick Whiz. However, the formula itself is not. Now it comes with a little spoolie, but I never really used that. I only used the the pencil part. <clears throat> I would definitely repurchase that. Definitely. Have but I will say a disclaimer, I have not used many brow products. So I cannot tell you give you a good review comparison to a lot of others so this one no 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 no. i'm actually totally just getting rid of this i bought this as part of my ten dollars ten dollar a week build face up type of thing yeah it, I, if i remember i'll try to link it probably won't but this was supposed to be an upgrade i had ten dollars and i was upgrading my mascara which the upgrade the the one I upgraded from is in my empty bag. Um, I was not impressed. This does not. I'm sorry, Maybelline. It does not give you big. I'm trying to read the bottom part print. The in bold print white is big, but there's something underneath it that I can't quite make out. Blackout. Black. Yeah, well, anyway, no, there's nothing big about this. I have tried other Maybelline mascaras that I do like. Not fond of this one. This used to be a fave. Change the formula or something? I don't know. But it's just, it didn't do hardly anything. You couldn't even tell I was wearing mascara. It just, and I don't, I don't feel bad getting rid of something like this that just did nothing for me. Why am I going to use it if it's not doing anything? And mind you, my money comes hard. Everybody's money comes hard. That's root, Jennifer. All our money comes hard. But I know many people are really quick to get rid of their stuff that they don't like me. I'll use something. I'll use the heck out of it and try to make it work. No, there's no way. I'm not going to. Because, like I said, it's, you can't even tell I'm wearing anything. So, just saying. All right. One more declutter and two empties. It's a sad day. But here's the thing. Okay. One of the main reasons I'm decluttering this is when I used it last, it's extremely clumpy. Now, I want to show you something. I don't know if you noticed, it just came right off, right? It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to do this. This is what it's supposed to do. But I think in transit, it broke and it did this. 
So, and I think what happened is air got to it and dried it all up too early. I'm 99% certain it is not supposed to do that. But it, it's, it's really not usable anymore, so it's a declutter. But I will be repurchasing probably. It is unicorn blood and it is one of my favorite. Um, yeah, as I pause to read it. Yep, unicorn blood. <laughs> it's one of my favorite um, Jiffy Star color lippies. I do love his nudes too. He's got some gorgeous nudes. Oh my gosh. Can we talk about mannequin and, um, and um, androgyny? And um, oh my god, this goes on. Beautiful, blue, blue celebrity skin. Woo! Girl. Okay. All right, two left, and that is it. This is what I upgraded this from. This was a $2 Wet n Wild mascara. It is the Mega Protein Mascara. And for two bucks, let me tell you, if you are hard on your money, if you are short on money and don't have a lot to spend and you need a mascara or you want to start out your makeup and you don't have a lot of money and you say you only have ten dollars and you want mascaras on your list and you're like but I don't want to spend five I want to spend as little as possible so I can get other things this two dollars you can go just about anywhere and pick this up <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can go to Walmart, you can go to Ulta, you can go to CVS, Walgreens, Target, just about every place sells Wet n Wild. You can pick this up anywhere and it is good. It's not great. I'm not going to put it up there with my top favorites, but for two bucks, I would put it in my top five. Heck yeah. All right. It's enough said. It's a good mascara. Moving on. My final empty. I am so proud of this. Check this out. Okay, it's got a little bit there, but can't use it. You can see, and I'm actually gonna. <laughs> well, just dump that in there. <laughs> a little bit of crumbs left, but <coughs> it wasn't <coughs> usable. Check that out. Elf Blusher. I don't know the name because it's got this tiny little dot right here with even tinier little writing. I am not certain the color, but it was gorgeous. I loved, 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 loved this blusher. I was really having some freaking awesome makeup days using this. I just felt, you know how you know you look, mm, that sounds so egotistical, but you know you look good. You know your makeup's looking good and you just, it bumps your confidence up like that much. Yeah, this is that. This was that for me. I just, I loved wearing this. I just thought it was really, really pretty. So, that wraps up my empties. If you like this video, I feel like, I feel like that's such a, you know. <laughs> but, seriously, if you like these types of videos, yeah, give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Yeah, give me a comment down below. Have you ever used any of these products? Yeah. Have you used this? <laughs> Do you use this? <laughs> Does your son, your daughter? Anyway, um, any of those products do you use? Do you disagree with me? I would love to know that. Seriously, I would love to know that. I like to know other people's thoughts and opinions on either my favorites or my not so favorites. <laughs> because different strokes for different folks and everybody has an opinion and we're all entitled. And I think I love knowing people's opinions. Um, not to disagree, but sometimes they like but have you ever tried using it this way? And I got the same experience until I used it this way. Oh man, sorry. I'm exporting a video and it just shut itself down. <laughs> sorry, to the computer. But it's all right, it's all good. I kind of expected it. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, so comment down below. I would love to know. Is there anything that I didn't like that you used and you didn't, or and that you're like, hey, but if you use it this way, it works? Or is there anything that I loved and you're like, uh, yeah, I wasn't a fan of that. I would like to know that too, just because. Um, it's always helpful. I think it's extremely helpful. Bible says, uh, 
oh my gosh, I'm going to butcher this scripture, but it's something like a wise man gets many different opinions. Oh, I am butchering it. I am so sorry, Father. I am so sorry to everybody who might be watching and going, really? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's just a smart thing to get many opinions. It's just a smart thing. So anyway, that was a really long on just commenting. And I'm going to be like, you were wrapping things up. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. I love every single last one of you. All 135 at the moment. Um, I'm always looking to grow, but I am grateful for every single last one of you. I am. I always answer all my comments. Um, even if I just put a little smiley heart, face, whatever. I always try to answer the answer all comments. Um, uh, um. <laughs> Don't forget to click the notification bell. As you probably have noticed over the past couple months and few months, I'm all over the place on my days. I try to set things up regularly, but they kind of go haywire sometimes, a lot of times, a lot of times. So you might want to click that notification bell if you'd like to know when my next one is. So I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching, because you didn't have to. There's so many out there, and I will just shut up and say I will see you in my next video. Bye.